This video assumes you have good knowledge of F9. It uses a recent exam question as a practice exercise. The question is adopted from June 2013 F9 exam. The purpose is to show you how to deal with question in real exam. Always begin with the requirements. Using the dividend valuation model, DVM, calculate the value of GXG and advise whether the option will be acceptable to shareholders. We have got six marks for this question. Always use marks to plan your answer. Now this question has two components. One is calculating the value of GXG Co and the other one is advice. Normally advice will have one number on the exam. It means that we have got five marks for calculation making it total six. For valuation we use three approaches. One is assets based Another approach is DVM, Dividend Valuation Model. And the third approach is Income or Earnings Model. In the exam, we are asked to use DVM. The formula for DVM is P0, which is the price or the value, equals D0, 1 plus G. Here D0 is the current dividend and G is the growth. It is normally a percentage which shows how much the dividend grows each year. In the denominator, we have KE. K is the cost of capital minus G, the same as in the denominator, the growth. Clearly, we are not asked to list the approaches for valuation. And as you can see, I have used this odd brown color. Throughout the video, I have used brown color to remind some key concepts, but which are not directly part of uh, the answer to this specific question. So in the exam, you simply do not write them. They have no mark allocation because the examiner has not asked for them. Let's read the question. GXG Co. is an e-business which designs and sells computer applications for mobile phones. The company needs to raise 3,200,000 for research and development and is considering. GXG Co. could suspend dividends for two years and then pay dividends of 25% per share for the end of the third year. So, this is dividend in three years. It's not D0, but it is D in two years. Increasing dividends annually by 4%. This is our G if the option is taken. Dividend in recent years have grown by 3%. It is also G but it is G if the option is not taken. Recent financial information relating to GX Recent financial information relating to GXG Co. is as follows. So we are given the statement of comprehensive income. We have ordinary shares. Nominal value is 50 cents. This is important because it tells us that the number of total shares is 5,000 divided by 0.5 which makes it 10,000. GXG Co. has a cost of equity, 9%. So this is our KE, which is expected to remain constant. I think we are ready to answer the question. Value of the company if the option is taken. As you can see, I'm using now black color 
this is what you should definitely write on your answer sheet okay so the value in because if the option is taken we are given the values in two years so that's why we will be using P2 the D dividend was given to us as 25 cents by the way we are using all the numbers in thousands and we don't need to use 1 plus G because it already includes the growth because it is P2 in two years the denominator is KE minus G so our cost of capital is 9% minus 4% is the growth rate if the option is taken into 10,000 because this is the number of shares that we have put them into a calculator and you get 50,000 but this would be the value of the company in two years and we need to have the value of the company now so we need to discount the 50,000 and find the present value P0 equals 50,000 multiply into 0 0.842 I have taken this figure from the present value table for 9% in two years in F9 exam on the last two pages of the question sheet the present value table and the annuity tables are given to you it gives us 42,100 another way of finding the P0 if you don't have access to the present value table is the same as 50,000 instead of multiply into because we are finding its uh, present value it would be divided by 1.09 square and you will get the exa you will get exactly the same answer 42,100 would be the present value of our, of the company if we take the option value if option is taken now we need to find the value if the option is not taken In this case, P0 would equal to, okay, now we need to find the dividend. We were given the dividend here in the statement of comprehensive income. Dividends is 1600. So we will use 1600 divided by the cost of equity which is 0 0.09 in case the option is not taken so currently the growth rate is 3% we don't need to multiply it into 10,000 because we are not using per share dividend we are using dividend for all the shares together this will give us 27,500 this is the present value if option is not taken now we can see the difference is clear if the option is taken the value is much higher than if the option is not taken now we need to write the conclusion and because we are specifically asked to advise that's why I would use the title advice the option 
will increase the wealth of the shareholders by 14,600 which is 42,100 minus 27,500 therefore they are likely actually they are very likely to accept the option so here we are done with the question let's see if uh, we have done enough to get good score from the marker as earlier said this has zero score because we are not asked for it and I would advise not to write it this one we are not asked for it so the score is zero however you may want to write it so you can easily put in the numbers so it's not a bad idea to write it it will help you get marks on other parts of the question if not directly calculating the value this will earn you two marks and discounting it to present value this will give you one mark and calculating the value if the option is not taken this will also gain you two marks as already mentioned normally the advice would have one score it is likely that you will be able to get six marks in exam for each mark you have 1.8 minutes it gives you 10.8 or almost 11 minutes time I have probably taken a little less than 14 minutes but I may be excused because I have given plenty of additional explanation. Bye for now. See you in another video.